guys, so I'm here today with the incredible Marta Ortin Obon, which is the co-founder of Dive Medical. Hey, Marta. Hi, hello. How are you today? Good, I'm doing great. Hey, excellent. So I wanted to talk a little bit uh, about Dive Medical, this incredible project uh, that I have been following for a few months now. So can you tell us what Dive Medical uh, is all about and how it was created? Sure. So um, about, I think, six years ago or so, um, engineers, I'm an engineer, so engineers from the University of Zaragoza, uh, we got together uh, with ophthalmologists and uh, optometrists from the Miguel Servet Hospital, also here in Zaragoza, and we found out that they have a problem in their everyday lives when they try to explore vision in very young children, because they cannot communicate with them, so they cannot ask them to read letters out of a poster, or they cannot, the young children cannot tell them if they can see or if they cannot see. Uh, so what we, we got together and we started developing a technology, we've developed a device that can explore this vision in very young children. Okay, excellent. Now, many parents may actually ask, uh, at what age should I then have them tested? Or for example, through dive, because most parents do the testing quite later in life. So why should they do it at a certain age? And what's the benefit of doing it through dive? Yeah, so the thing is, get it done as soon as possible. If it could be done just as the child is born, that would be the best way. So uh, with Dive, we can do it from the age of six months old or so, uh, just as soon as the child can uh, look into a screen and, and see images in a screen, uh, that's when we can start working with the child. Uh, now, tests right now require active collaboration from children. Uh, so that can happen when they are three or four years old. And other tests that only ophthalmologists can perform right now, they are very subjective, they cannot get very precise uh, metrics, so they are not ideal. And the result of those explorations that happen too late or that are not very accurate right now is that many children cannot be diagnosed early or as early as it would be desirable. And not being diagnosed means that they may have a problem that's not detected and that may interfere not only with their vision, but also with their general development, with their education and with their socialization. Wow, so basically parents take, uh, get your children tested as soon as possible. Don't wait until they are six or seven, which is the average uh, nowadays. Now, who is the team behind Dive Medical on top of yourself? Uh, so we are five founders of the company. Uh, first, there's Victoria Puello. She's the heart of the project and the medical side. She's the ophthalmologist. Uh, then in the engineering side, there's three of us. Uh, there's Diego Gutierrez, Belen Masia, and myself, uh, which uh, all come from the university. And then we have a fifth partner, who's uh, Mabel Jimeno. She's the business side of things. She knows about the financials and and the business things and and all those things but apart from the founders there's uh, there are many other people we have a few more engineers and a lot of other ophthalmologists and opticians that are working with us in this wow so a big hello to everyone at dive medical congratulations uh, for the incredible job uh, that you're doing including yourself of course mark and uh, my next question is about uh, how Dive uh, actually, or how you guys are planning to take this to the next level, which is taking it to rural areas. A lot of companies create products that are all about money. It's all about whoever can pay for it. And you are also planning uh, you know, to help those that cannot be helped. So can you tell us a little bit more about this, which obviously falls under the category of tech for all? 
Yeah, so in the in the tech for all um, projects that Huawei has, we are we've developed with them the Truck AI project during the past year. Thanks to that project, we have incorporated artificial intelligence into our system. This means that the device itself can interpret all the metrics that it collects and it can tell anyone, it doesn't have to be a doctor, it can tell you the probability that a child has to have normal or abnormal visual development. So this means that we can use it anywhere, rural areas or developing countries, places in which there's difficult access to medical specialists. Um, anyone can use it and identify the children that have visual problems and refer those children to the specialist. Um, so yeah, we are now planning to, to make that happen. We have uh, several things going on in the making. We are planning on going to different countries uh, unfortunately, everything is on hold right now uh, because of the situation around the world. So we cannot travel right now and medical um, services are have other things on their minds right now. Uh, but we are moving as fast as we can on our side so that when the situation goes back to normal, we can continue those, uh, those plannings and we can start bringing this technology to many different places. Excellent. And I definitely want to give a little shout out to Huawei because that is actually how we met. We attended uh, one of the events in uh, China, in Shanghai, then I heard you, uh, well, it was uh, Victoria who did a keynote, and then somebody tells me, hey, those two ladies, did you know they're from Saragossa? And I'm like, are you kidding? Saragossa? Really? I have to come all the way to China to meet them when they're local. And uh, I know that technology, again, it is so important. So from your perspective, obviously you're an engineer, uh, you know, tech is a part of it, but... What do you think of technology nowadays or what's going to happen in the future? Because without, not just Huawei, obviously, but many companies such as Google or Samsung or any tech partner out there, without them, projects like Dive would not get further. So what are your views on the importance of understanding what technology can do for us? Yeah, so I think technology um, is bringing a lot of opportunities in many different areas, especially in the medical sector. It's now being incorporated in, in many different things and it can be really, really useful. And of course, the support from technological companies is really important. Um, Thanks to our, to the support from Huawei, we were we were able to give a huge push to our project last year, and we are now able to be at a point at we at which we would not have been able to be if it hadn't been for their support last year. So, yeah, I think we have to get together, researchers and technological companies, we have to work together, and that's how we can make things happen and how we can make things that can be truly useful for society. And that's also important. We have to let society know of what we're doing, the things that can happen, the, the great things that we can do. Uh, because, yeah, people may have a smartphone and they may not know the capabilities the smartphone has. So it's great that we can tell them what that smartphone can do and all the great things that we can do with it. Wow, that is incredible, Marta. And it's true. And my takeaway from literally what you've just said is collaboration. Uh, no matter what project you have out there, obviously there is only so much that we can do on our own. Even Dive, you are an incredible engineer, but you on your own cannot take Dive forward because you need the ophthalmologist. So there is a collaboration within Dive and then there is the collaboration with the tech partners or uh, you know data services to make sure that projects get to the next level. Uh, so thank you, Marta, for that. Now, if people want to know more about Dive, uh, where can they go? How can they find you? Uh, they can look for us online. We have a web website, dive-medical.com. And they can also look for us in LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. Just look for Dive Medical. And if you Google Dive Medical Track AI, we are everywhere. <laughs> 
Excellent. And of course, <laughs> we'll be sharing the links uh, down below, guys. So please make sure you check them out. Thank you so much, Marta. I cannot wait to see the developments uh, with Dive over the next few years. We'll definitely be jumping on more follow-up videos to see the journey of Dive Medical and also Marta or team. Thank you so much, Marta. See you next time. Thanks. See you.